As one of the most iconic record stores in the UK, HMV has been at the forefront of the music industry for decades. It was a place where music lovers could browse through a vast collection of vinyl, CDs, and other music-related merchandise. However, in the digital age, HMV's success was short-lived, and the company fell into financial turmoil. In this video, we will explore the rise and fall of HMV, and what lessons can be learned from its experience. Chapter 1. The Rise of HMV HMV, short for his master's voice, is a British music and entertainment retail chain that was founded in 1921. The company quickly grew in popularity and became a household name, with its signature logo featuring a dog named Nipper listening to a phonograph. HMV's chain of brick-and-mortar stores became a destination for music lovers and enthusiasts, with its shelves stocked with an extensive selection of CDs, vinyl records, and other forms of entertainment media. The company expanded its offerings to include DVDs, video games, and other merchandise, making it a one-stop shop for all things entertainment. HMV's popularity continued to grow throughout the 20th century, with the company becoming a cultural icon in the UK and around the world. The company even expanded internationally, opening stores in Canada, Australia, and other countries. At its peak, HMV had over 400 stores worldwide, with its flagship location in Oxford Street, London serving as a mecca for music enthusiasts from all over the world. The company's success was due in part to its ability to adapt to changing trends and technologies, such as the shift from vinyl records to CDs and the rise of digital music downloads. However, the digital age also brought new challenges to the music and entertainment industry, and HMV struggled to keep up with the rapid pace of change. In the next section, we will explore the factors that led to HMV's downfall. Chapter 2. The Fall of HMV. A Cautionary Tale. Despite HMV's early success, the company began to struggle in the late 2000s as digital music downloads became increasingly popular. The rise of digital music and online streaming services like Spotify and Apple Music meant that fewer people were buying physical copies of music, and HMV's sales began to decline. In an effort to adapt to these changes, HMV attempted to diversify its offerings by expanding into other areas such as technology, merchandise, and live events. However, these efforts were not enough to offset the decline in sales of physical music media, and the company continued to struggle. In 2013, HMV went into administration, which is a process similar to bankruptcy in the UK. The company was forced to close dozens of stores, and many employees lost their jobs. However, HMV was eventually rescued by restructuring firm Hilco, which bought the company's debt and took control of the business. Despite Hilco's efforts to turn the company around, HMV continued to struggle as the music industry continued to evolve. In 2019, the company announced that it would be closing its flagship store in Oxford Street, London, which had been open for nearly 100 years. Today, HMV continues to operate a smaller number of stores in the UK and Canada, but the company's heyday as a cultural icon and retail powerhouse is now a thing of the past. There were several factors that contributed to the fall of HMV, including the rise of digital music and streaming services, the company's inability to adapt quickly enough to changing consumer preferences, and the overall decline of physical media sales in the entertainment industry. Despite its eventual downfall, however, HMV remains a beloved part of music history and a reminder of the power of brick-and-mortar retail in the pre-digital age. The Legacy of HMV HMV's legacy is tied to its history as a beloved music retailer and cultural icon. HMV played a significant role in the development of the music industry, especially in the UK, where it was a popular destination for music enthusiasts for many years. The brand's iconic logo, featuring a Jack Russell Terrier listening to a gramophone, has become a recognizable symbol of music and pop culture. 
HMV also had a significant impact on the development of music distribution and retail, pioneering the concept of the modern record store and developing new ways of promoting and selling music. HMV stores were often large and visually striking, with extensive collections of music and other entertainment products. The company's in-store displays and marketing campaigns were highly influential in the music industry, shaping consumer preferences and helping to promote new artists and genres. Despite its decline in recent years, HMV remains an important part of music history and its legacy continues to be felt. The company's influence can be seen in the many other music retailers and distributors that have followed in its footsteps, as well as in the enduring popularity of music as a form of entertainment and cultural expression. The brand continues to be recognized and appreciated by music fans around the world, and its legacy as a cultural icon is likely to endure for many years to come. Chapter 3. Lessons to Learn from the Rise and Fall of HMV The fall of HMV is a cautionary tale for businesses operating in the digital age. As technology continues to evolve, companies must be willing to adapt and change their business models to stay relevant. One of the main reasons for HMV's decline was its inability to adapt quickly enough to changing consumer preferences. As technology and the music industry evolved, HMV was slow to respond and lost out to more nimble competitors. Companies must be able to identify and respond to shifts in the market in order to remain relevant. HMV attempted to diversify its offerings by expanding into areas such as technology, merchandise, and live events. While this strategy can be effective in some cases, it can also dilute a company's focus and make it difficult to compete in any one area. As the music industry shifted toward digital downloads and online streaming, HMV was slow to embrace the new technology. Companies must be willing to adapt to new technologies and embrace digital channels in order to stay relevant in a changing market. Despite its struggles, HMV remains a beloved part of music history and a cultural icon in the UK and around the world. The company's brand recognition and legacy continue to have value, even as its brick-and-mortar stores have declined. At its core, HMV was a destination for music lovers and enthusiasts. The company's downfall was due in part to losing sight of its core customer base and failing to meet their changing needs. Companies must stay focused on their customers and adapt to their changing preferences in order to remain relevant. These lessons can be applied to other industries as well, as the rise and fall of HMV serves as a cautionary tale for companies across the business world. By staying focused on customers, embracing new technologies, and adapting to changing market conditions, companies can position themselves for long-term success. By doing so, Businesses can stay competitive in the digital age and avoid a similar fate to HMV. Chapter 4. Could HMV have avoided its downfall? Yes, HMV could have avoided its downfall by adapting its business model to the digital age. This would have involved investing in online sales platforms, diversifying its revenue streams, and focusing on customer needs and preferences. Chapter 5. Are there other companies that have faced a similar fate to HMV? Yes, many other companies have faced similar challenges in the digital age, including Blockbuster Video, Kodak, and Borders Books. You can watch videos about the rise and fall of these companies on our channel's playlist, Rise and Fall of Companies. These companies failed to adapt to changing market conditions and were eventually overtaken by competitors. Chapter 6. Is there a future for physical retail stores in the digital age? Yes, there is still a future for physical retail stores in the digital age. While many consumers have shifted to online shopping, there is still a demand for in-store experiences and personal interactions with products. However, physical stores must adapt to changing customer needs and preferences and integrate technology into their business model to stay relevant. Chapter 7. So, what have we learned today? The rise and fall of HMV serve as a cautionary tale for businesses operating in the digital age. 
The company's failure to adapt to changing market conditions and embrace new technologies led to its downfall. However, there are lessons to be learned from HMV's experience, including the importance of embracing technology, understanding customer needs, diversifying business models, and being agile and adaptable. Thank you for watching. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do not forget to subscribe and share.